Hey guys, so here's the fan to, that caused the reason for me to move the Comfort Breeze. It is a Moss HF100 series. That's what the uh, label on the top here says. We'll show that real quick. There it is. Made in Hong Kong. Uh, 1.2 amp motor. It um, It's interesting because the motor looks similar to the one that's in my cast CEC hugger. The uh, one that used to be in this spot. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool fan and kind of a cool story. I'll tell about it later. So let's get it started. This is what the last owner put on it. I don't believe it's original. So this fan was on my marketplace for quite a long time. And after looking at it, I decided to give it a closer look and... I saw the canopy and realized it may be a little more special than I thought it was. I just thought it was a builder fan, to be honest. And I guess in the in regards to the HF100 series fans, they probably weren't much higher up the uh, chain there in terms of uh, what would it be? Premium fans, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess I can tell the story now. It was a rather short story, but when I met the owner, he uh, discounted it down to $20 for me. I went out and met him, talked to him a little bit, found out I was a collector. And for whatever reason, he felt like doing a good deed and gave it to me for free. So um, I was kind of speechless and I still wanted to pay him for it, but he refused to take it. <laughs> so yeah, I got it for free, which was really amazing on his behalf. Because this fan's in really good shape. <laughs> The brass is a little tarnished. I haven't polished it. I, I don't do that <laughs> with these fans. I'm just lazy when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> so yeah, this fan is a definitely a cool fan. Let's move it to medium while I'm rambling. If anything, the bearings are a little dry on it, though. And the uh, mounting hardware, um, there's two rubber grommets that go onto a cotter pin. It hangs kind of like an industrial fan, but this one's more like that Edison spinner I had, or still have, where it has like two hooks and then you balance it, the cotter pin, on the two hooks. So why it wobbles is because one of those rubber grommets completely disintegrated over the years. <laughs> the other one is surprisingly still there and in one piece. But uh, yeah... So this will have a little wobble to it because of that. I do like the mounting system, though. It's kind of cool. Kind of a precursor to the ball and socket, so to, so to speak. Pole chain is very stiff. He had this installed in his bedroom. And uh, they said they rarely used it, so... And his wife just wanted something newer by the sounds of it. So, yeah, long story short, that's how I got it. I gotta be honest, I didn't clean this fan at all. I got it this clean. <laughs> so I believe him when he said it wasn't used. I think he did a little, like, dusting of it. But other than that, yeah. Or he cleaned the dust off, excuse me. But yeah, very, very nice shape. Air movement's pretty good. It's not great, but... It's definitely better than some newer fans. <laughs> yeah, for me, this would be a great bedroom fan. Other than the bearing noise, that would probably bother me over time. But uh, yeah, it doesn't have too much of an overwhelming breeze, but it's strong enough where you'll feel a difference, as well as uh, it circulates the air very well, too. All right, so let's do spin down. Spin down on this one is a little longer than than I would have thought with those bearings. Oh, look at it wiggle. <laughs> this fan is, uh, for anything childhood of this fan, is the same case with the Ventura. If I've seen it in my childhood, I would have never uh, acknowledged it. The problem with this kind of fan is the design can be pretty generic depending on 
fan companies and uh, where it's installed. So it's pretty easy to mistake. If you're like me and you're not as well versed with some fans as other collectors, you're going to have a tough time telling them apart. And that is definitely the case with me. Sorry about the loose wires there. I haven't put anything up in place of the comfort breeze yet. I moved that over to where the that modern Hunter Omnia was. So now the comfort breeze gets a modern four-speed control, which works excellently on. I'll demonstrate that in a future video. So on request that I do it with the 36-inch original, so I think I'll do that. Because that's a pretty cool idea. Yeah, pretty uh, good spin down on this fan, despite the bearings. I think the bearings are rough only because this fan just never was used and it just hung there. I could totally see a fan like this installed in like an old fashioned restaurant or something. This looks like one of those kind of fans to me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and as far as I know, this was the only fan they had in their house. I don't believe he had any other kind. Just one fan in their bedroom. All right. Let's do zero to high, shall we? I had to put some WD-40 into that pull chain. You could barely pull it. It was so stiff. Once again, lack of use. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't break, to be honest, which is good, because I hate replacing pull chains. All right, there you have it. The Moss HF100 Series ceiling fan. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.